I think I've done it the wrong way around. I think I was supposed to put that on first. Wow, wow. <laughs> I was very lucky because the other day I got a little kind of um, makeup haul off um, Trini. I don't know if you know Trini London. She's uh, going to be on this channel. In fact, I think she probably is already on this channel. And she sent me lots of her makeup, which I have tried some of it out. I tried this out, which was amazing. Really, really nice. I'm going to put my glasses on to read what it says, the blurb on it. But this was um, a serum, BFF Serum De-Stress. And so I might put a bit of this on and then then the BFF cream skin perfector it's SPF 30 and I'm quite excited about this because I've looked at some YouTube channel clips of various influencers using it and they've all said it's amazing I'm only gonna put a little bit of this because this one the silver one the serum does have a tint to it already and so I don't want to end up with like too heavy a base for a day-to-day -day, I actually feel like that is enough but I am gonna put a tiny bit of this on as well because people People swear by this so I'm gonna put a bit of this on oh I think I've done it the wrong way around I think that this was oh this is nice I think I've done it the wrong way around I think I was supposed to put that on first wow wow that is super nice it's actually blended rather nicely with what I've got on yeah that's all blended quite nicely anyway it's fine Quite often what I do is I'll mix a moisturiser with a cream, with a tinted, because it makes it lighter and go on easier. She's also got this product called the Miracle Blur, and I'm just trying to find it because, here it is. It, they, they come in these little packs, I don't know if you've seen them, they clip onto each other. And this one is really clever because I've got lots of open pores here and if you basically, it's a bit like polyfiller, wherever they're particularly bad, put the Miracle Blur on and they literally sort of disappear. I mean, I've got quite bad ones. It's crazy, crazy. I've got quite bad ones here. They just sort of fill them in. I can't, I can't explain what it does, but it's just really clever. You can't really see, but I've got all these open pores here and they've gone, like literally gone. And I'm not, I'm not putting loads on, it's very clever. Anyway, so I've done that. So I'm gonna kick off with my Tilda Swinton. So, I do nothing with the eyes. So what I would do is I would curl. Uh, I have said this before, but if there's anybody there that does not own a pair of eyelash curlers, get eyelash curlers. They are insane, look. As you all know, I love my Kevin Coin mascara. I've got a little mirror down here, which is helping me see what I'm doing. I hope you can still see. Oh, oh, mucky pup. So I would do top and bottom lashes because I'm not putting on any eyeliner. And the reason for this is because of the lips. I'm just trying to make my eyes pop with a bit of mascara. Hang on. I work with uh, Garnier. I'm one of their ambassadors and um, they sent me these amazing, just really, really soft reusable pads the other day. Okay, so I've done a repair here. Hang on, let me just put this on because my hair is in the way. Ugh. Oh, attractive. So I've done the Miracle Blur, I've done my eyelashes, and now it's time for a full red lip. Now, I'm gonna go dark-ish, and I am going to go with, I think I'm gonna go with, hmm, I think I'm gonna go with my red chubby stick. Now this is quite a light red, and I always try and go slightly over the line. And sometimes do a little bit of a same color from the lip, but not too much, otherwise I end up looking like Aunt Sally. And sometimes here and here, but again, not too much, because otherwise, like that. However, I do feel that that usually sometimes is quite a summery color and a slightly darker one is better. I'm gonna show you what a darker one looks like. I suit plums in winter. I mean, you can lip line. It's 
See, I quite like that. I like a dark lip. And let me take my hair down. A dark lip with hardly anything on the eye is good. My next look, I'm gonna take my lipstick off. So next up, I would then add a bit to the eye. Now, normally I would do this before I've done mascara. I would do mascara last. So this might be a bit tricky, but I use, I sometimes use a pencil and I sometimes use, this is like um, a felt tip pen. There is less room for error with this. You can't kind of smudge it or anything, but I've got the pads and I've got the makeup remover so I can just kind of smudge it. But I go quite far in to the corner of my eye. I hope you can still see what I'm doing. And I move out very slowly. Get bolder as I move out. And the other thing is, is that my eyelid is soft and bendy, which is a bit annoying. As I'm sure anybody that gets to a certain age, you know, the skin on our eyelid is slightly, so it doesn't always do what I think it's gonna do or behave how I want it to behave. And sometimes I have to have both eyes open to properly see how my line's looking. Not too shabby. So then, once I've done that, I would then get a black pencil. This one's Kevin Coin. No, it's not, Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury, I love Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I'll tell you why, because I think it's very affordable and her palettes that she does are magnificent. I just do an eyeliner alongside the inside of my eye. Like that. So basically that's giving you almost like a slightly smoky eye, but without having to do all the shading underneath. The shading underneath gives me anxiety. I'm really not very good at it. This is enough, I think. But you can add and add and add to it, which is what I quite like. You can then put a little bit of, I always use my fingers, I'm terrible, but a little bit of reflective. So I'm using a bit of Charlotte Tilbury, this shiny one in the corner which adds a little bit of pizzazz. Also a tiny bit on the lid here, which could define it a bit more. And then if you wanted to, you could add a darker color. However, I did come across one that I really liked in Trini's, which was, it's called Freddie. And um, she just put it sort of across the middle here. It's a good color on me, this one. It's Again, it's a slightly plummy color, like so and then you can kind of blend it in a little bit. So that's eyes done. And then lips. I mean, let me try and find a good lip. I would go back. Like, if I'm gonna do anything, I would go quite pale and I can't find any pale. I guess this is as pale as I've got. It's like a stain. But I would, I would probably go paler actually if I could. And then you could, I mean, I guess we could go more dramatic. No. There. That is my Chrissy Hind. I mean, that is Chrissy Hind. Like, I just need a guitar and a voice and a band and some talent. And I basically would be Chrissy Hind. I love you guys. Thanks for listening to my ramblings. I'm really quite enjoying the makeup thing. But very quickly, my makeup um, habit has only just started and I'm 53. Can't decide whether I was kind of vain and I just thought I looked great without any makeup on or I was just really freaking lazy um, and I never wore any makeup but I really just didn't enter into the makeup realm and now because I kind of absolutely have to every day wear something I've quite got into makeup and little shortcuts and funny little things that I do to help my face along and I'm so up for trying new products you know that miracle blur cream I mean that stuff's like Trini London amazing you know I would never have I would never have bought something like that years ago but now it's like literally this is my lifeblood this palette <laughs> So it's funny how as I've got older, it's like playing dress ups. <laughs> I've loved doing it. I hope you like my two looks.